Just a few months after being sworn in as president, John F. Kennedy, RFK Jr.'s uncle, said the following in a speech given before the American Newspaper Publishers Association. The very word secrecy is repugnant in a free and open society. And we are, as a people, inherently and historically opposed to secret societies, to secret oaths, and to secret proceedings. We decided long ago that the dangers of excessive and unwarranted concealment of pertinent facts far outweighed the dangers which are cited to justify it. On November 22nd, 1963, President Kennedy was assassinated in Dallas. There are hours of damning evidence clearly showing that the CIA, organized crime, and the highest levels of the U.S. federal government were all involved in the assassination of John F. Kennedy, including the magic bullet, the grassy knoll, and the presence of young CIA asset George H.W. Bush in Dallas that day, a day that he claims he could not remember. But the entire operation was blamed on a single lone gunman. An hour after hearing that his brother was assassinated, Robert Kennedy told his close aide that he was surprised it wasn't him. He thought that he would be the one they would get. Over the next few days, he wrote letters to his children, charging them with the responsibility to love and serve their country and to remember what their uncle John had started. A few years later, the New York Times published an article claiming that President Kennedy told one of the highest officials in his administration that he wanted to splinter the CIA in a thousand pieces and scatter it to the winds. On March 16, 1968, Robert Kennedy officially announced he was running for president. On June 5th, following major victories in the primaries, he was gunned down after giving a speech at the Ambassador Hotel in Los Angeles, California. Nina Rhodes Hughes was one of a small few who witnessed the assassination, and she claims there was another shooter. She later expressed outrage that the police ignored her statement. The shot that killed Robert Kennedy was fired up close in the back of his head, and the whole operation was blamed on a single lone gunman who was standing in front of him. But it appears that they concluded within about an hour's time that Saran acted alone, or that was going to be their conclusion, and they thereafter tailored all of the evidence to fit that conclusion. Regicide is the ritual killing of a king to memorialize a subversion of power. And while the Kennedy family is as greasy as the rest of the swamp, the two brothers stand out like mythical kings. Aside from Dr. Ron Paul, who said we need to get rid of them completely, Nobody in government questions the crimes of the CIA. While promoting a book on television in 1978, a young RFK Jr. referred to American politics as a one-party system and his father and uncle's demise as an occupational hazard. In March of 1999, John F. Kennedy Jr. had a meeting to plan a run for the 2000 U.S. Senate election against Hillary Clinton. Four months later, he died in a fatal plane crash with all the telltale signs of a cover-up. Recently declassified documents show that Lee Harvey Oswald, the alleged lone gunman in the JFK assassination, was a CIA asset. RFK Jr. is running for president in 2024 and calls out the CIA for the deadly vaccines. He also blames the CIA for the murder of his uncle, which he calls a successful coup d'etat from which our democracy has never recovered. And he believes that his father was assassinated by the security guard who shot him from behind after pushing him into their patsy. Sirhan Sirhan. One of the interesting things about this case is that Sirhan Sirhan was reportedly in front of Robert Kennedy and investigators initially said that he was murdered by a gunshot wound that went through the back of him. So, Reporting for InfoWars, this is Greg Reese.